Okay, today we're going to talk about how we create numbers or a spreadsheet um, a lot of you know as Excel. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your launch pad. Um, here you will find um, all of your applications, um, things of that nature, and you'll see uh, some of our iLife Studio. We have the Pages, which is like Microsoft, Numbers like Excel, and Keynote like PowerPoint. So we're going to work with Numbers today. You'll open your Numbers, and when you do, it'll show all the things that you have on your Mac or in your iCloud, and you'll click New Document. And when the new document comes up, you'll see choose a template. And this can work with anything. A lot of these have formulas already in them uh, for different types of uh, projects that we may use um, along the way. So you can always explore those and play around. As you can see, there's many different types um, already created for you. Even some education ones with attendance, gradebook, things that we may use in the future. So for today, for this purpose, we're just going to do a blank document. So you'll click a blank document, and when you open it, it'll already have a table inside of it. Now this table um, looks a little bit different than you are used to in Excel. Um, it still has the sales. Um, this one's shaded. As you can see over here, there's some choices that you can pick for different ones. We're going to keep it simple. You can always play around. Um, this is just to get you started with how to start with the table. Well, there's a lot of really neat features. You actually are going to do one with just some names. You need your names of the people in your gallery walk and what you're going to do for your extension activity. And we're going to do um, their ratio. And this is after you do your calculations. So really we only have two that we need. So we have all these extras that we don't need. And we can take this little, um, looks like an equal sign. If you click it once, it adds more sales. Or you can drag it just like you can and make them smaller um, if you needed certain cells to be smaller. But we don't need all these cells, so what we're going to do is we're just going to hold that button and we're going to take the cells that we do not need away. So we get us down to two columns. Now, we need one for at least 14 people. There's eight people in our gallery walk, and then we have some other things that we're going to do after. So we're going to have um, 14 cells that we need to fill in. And our names and ratios take up one. So we're going to go down to 15 cells. Everything else below that, we don't need. Let me make this bigger here. We don't need it this time. So we're going to take this little dot down here. This is the same as that was on the side where we can add more. And we're going to take and go all the way up to 15. Okay, notice that we have this space between 1 and 8. When I scrolled up, it automatically shrank. Um, that table so that you can still see your headings, which is pretty neat little factor there. All right, to change our table, we're going to double click on it. You can highlight and delete, or you can just highlight and start typing. And we're going to call this our mullet table. And you can get a little bit more creative and change that if you would like, but we're going to leave it very simple. Now, over here on the side, you can see there are tons of ways that you can change the font, the, um, the size, boldness, underline, just like you have with Microsoft. Um, this interface is pretty much similar on all of our uh, life products. So you'll get used to this. This is our alignment, spacing, uh, lots of things. You're welcome to play with that and mess with those as, as well. Now, you have some tabs at the top, table, text, and arrangement. Arrangement is where you can make your table bigger. You can make your position different. You can bring it to the forward or back if you're adding some other things. You can lock it into place on a, on a um, piece of paper or on the screen so no one's able to come in and move it around. And then you also have some colors that you can deal with. Um, this brings up a, um, a selection screen that allows you to pick different colors to do your outlines, things of that nature. These are all things that you're welcome to play with. This is our basic one. So when you go in to add your names, just like in the old Excel, you would click on the cell, type in your name. So if you were typing in, you know, Scott and his ratio, and these we're going to be putting in order. So you can have those in order. If we wanted to, we could always add um, another column. Uh, our little button here, whoops, excuse me, 
You can always add a column there and you know put those in ranking order if you would like. Best case is put them in order as you put them on the page. Um, you can always play around with that. Ascending, descending, give them a number one, two, three, four, whatever, or put their ratios in and then um, ascend or descend depending on what you want the order to be. So there's a lot of things that you can play with. Again, this is just a simple um, layout. Okay, now you have this all laid out ready, and I want to show you how to create another table where you can put in a formula. So this is insert a table. We can just pick the basic one, and you'll notice it'll put another table right next to it. Now this one, uh, this little dot here in the top corner is what allows you to move. If you make a mistake and you decide, oh, I don't need that table, you click the little dot there and you hit the delete button on your keypad and it deletes it for you. So again, we'll pull up our table, our little dot controls where we can move it. Now this one, since we're going to have the names, we're going to put our party here. This is our part of our ratio for our, our mullets, party and then the business. And this will give us our ratio. So we have one that we do not need unless you want to leave it there for a ranking. We don't need that one. So we will go ahead and take that away. We're going to extend it down because we do need to have at least 14. So we're going to go down to 15 since the number one is taken up by our headings. Uh, we can change our table to um, formula table. I'll just call it that. You can call it whatever you want. And now let's just say we're going to put in Scott. We'll make up a name. And let's say his party is 12 and his business is 4. Now, if we wanted to automatically calculate our formulas for us, there's a couple ways we can do that. If we wanted to know, for our case, we won't know the quotient. Now, with this program, it will only show you um, the quotient rounded to the nearest whole number. It will not show you decimal places. This one works out fine because it will be a whole number anyway, but I'll show you one without. So what we'll do is we'll make sure we're clicked in our cell, and you can see it's blue. And we're going to go over to the cell. And we're going to make sure the top of our cell that it's set for numbers. We could set it for a multitude of things, percentages, fractions, things of that nature. But we're going to do with numbers, so we're going to talk about numbers. And we'll go ahead and do that for the business one. It's already set for us. To numbers, and this just helps us without having confusion later. All right, so we go back to our cell, and we're going to put in our formula. So if you will look at your cell and make sure you're on the cell table. You'll notice here it has decimals. And auto is always set to go way out. But again, we're going to do quoting, so it's not really going to matter what we have over here. So we can leave it set to auto. And we'll play with this more when we talk about average and sum and things of that nature. So you're going to click the equal sign on your keypad. And all of these options, these functions come up. So we're going to go ahead and put in a quotient. And you don't even have to spell it all the way, you just put the first few letters and it'll pull up and we're going to do quote it. And it actually explains to you down here what that is. And it'll also explain to you that it rounds to the nearest whole number and examples of that. So great information down here, help and tips if you need them. So once you choose quoting, you're going to do insert function. And it says we're going to do a quote, but what are we going to do a quote of? We know that our formula is party divided by business. So our first, our dividend is going to be our party, which is column B. And notice there, it takes the place of that. And our divisor is going to be business, which is column C. And once we have that in there, we just click yes. That's what we want, a little acceptance, and automatically it creates it for us. Now, if we want to copy this all the way down the column, we will just take this little yellow dot and we will bring it all the way down for our whole um, formula. But you'll notice 
because we have no data here. It has a crazy symbol here that says, no, that will not work. You have to get rid of that. So if we were to put something in here, let's say 15 and 4, it will automatically change. Now notice that 15 divided by 4 gives us 3 as well. Remember that we'll only go to the nearest whole number. I know that that is a decimal. We know that that will fit in there more than three times, actually closer to four times because it's 16 is very close um, to 15, but it does not give you rounded outs. This is not a excellent way to do quotients for exact uh, answers. However, it gives you a roundabout way to see if you are close um, to what you're looking for for your ratio. Now, you're welcome to add another column with the exact amount, but you will have to input those yourself. You cannot use that as a formula. Okay? All right, this is a good example to get you started in numbers. I hope you have enjoyed. Um, when you do go to save, you need to make sure you do file. You can save um, into you your documents or your iCloud if you have one set up. We're going to label this mullet tables and I'm going to save it into my documents. Then you're welcome to close out of your numbers.